Okay. We use the Sanitaire commercial vacuum cleaners because they last and last and last. And then every single part that breaks in them is individually replaceable so we don't have to get brand new vacuum cleaners every time and the parts are reasonably priced in the first place. So this is your basic Sanitaire. They come in uh, several different models. They have one with the plastic cover, one with uh, uh, zipper replaceable bags. This particular one comes with a single bag that you empty the bag itself. As you can see, they paid no attention to how they would put the cord up on the machine. It has the ability to wrap the cord properly, but anyway. So, all of them that I've given the people out in the hotels have a zipper and a bag. They know how it goes on there, but in the bottom, there's a tube. The tube comes up from the machine, and that tube can clog with a piece of paper, paper clips, anything along those lines. Those need to be cleared. This one has a bag right here, which if I take it off, will have dirt all over the place, and I'm not going to bother. I'm going to assume you can handle that. Everybody knows how this adjusts here to be able to adjust to the height of the carpet. That's all the way down in its lowest position. Higher each time you do this, it raises and lowers these wheels right here and adjust how high this will sit. Come on. This one is falling apart. But this this one isn't owned by us. They they don't have the proper nuts and bolts on the whole thing. The first thing you do whenever you have a vacuum cleaner that doesn't seem like it's sucking is you come down here and you check the belts. You got two little clips here. You release those. You come over here and you look at the condition of the belt. This one has a cut in it. It's almost ready to break. This one also there's almost nothing left of the brush. So this brush bar needs to be replaced. These come out like this. You pop these rubber caps off. And in here, there shouldn't be any string or anything wrapped around and you should be able to spin it and it should keep on spinning. This is not happening. This beater bar is almost completely shot. Personally, I would call it completely shot. The next thing is in here. If you have very little suction, you have a replaceable blower. Needless to say, I did not take this apart in advance to make sure it would go. These blades in here, come on, that stays over there, comes up, and pulls off. Now these, you can see, they're a little bit worn, but they're in fairly good shape. This is where all your suction comes from in the first place. The next thing you have to check is in here to see if there's anything clogging the path. So if this is turning freely, and this one is, then this tube for yours with the replaceable elements goes all the way up to the top and that has to be completely clear. If it has paper, paper clips, bobby pins, Q-tips, anything like that stuck in it, other things will clog on it, making it even less suction or the ability to fill up the bag in the first place. If you have a bad impeller, 
these can be replaced for three dollars. Literally, it only needs to be held in place, put a wrench, turn this counterclockwise, take the nut off and pull the impeller off and put a new one in. That is all it takes. There is a gasket here. Usually you won't damage the gasket when you take it off. So you can put it back in place just exactly it came off in the first place. So if you need new rollers, if you need brush bars, if you need beater bars, if you need belts, I can get you any of that. I am not, nor do I have any intention whatsoever, going to buy shark vacuums. It won't happen. Hey, I'm just being honest. Well, they do go on one direction, because you see this side faces up. So it goes in exactly like that, with the belt in like this. One side drops in, you push it to one side, the other side drops in. That stays there. And this now it's in place. This right here, these clip right there and there. That goes on there. Now this one is in a good state. There is zero reason to keep replacing vacuums when a $3 or an $8 part will do it. That's it.